Hey everybody, it's Monday, May 3rd, 2010. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, now, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't watch television. I don't watch the news. So I don't know if this is uh, recent or if it's maybe five years old. But uh, I've been seeing on the internet lately about how Matt and Trey of South Park portrayed uh, Muhammad in a bear suit and uh, the Muslims threatened to kill them. Uh, you know, people speak of this as if, you know, the Muslims, all 1.5 billion of them, personally got together in a huge conference call and threatened to kill Matt and Trey. So, um, I've been seeing a lot of videos about this, and I looked, uh, I actually looked at what they had to say about it, um, and they showed the clip, the original clip of Muhammad, which was shown on South Park um, before the, C the, the Theo Van Gogh incident, and which, uh, of course, elicited virtually no response whatsoever. And um, it, it, it was it was so unnoticed that people completely forgot it, I believe. They, they completely forgot that Matt and Trey had shown Mohammed on an earlier episode as part of the Super Friends. And the Super Friends were all the deities. Um, Mohammed, uh, not, not really a deity, but portrayed as a deity. Uh, Jesus and Buddha, also not a deity, but portrayed as a deity. Um, and uh, God, of course, and, you know, back, and, and it wasn't really disrespectful uh, in the sense that the Theo Van Gogh cartoon was disrespectful. I mean, uh, technically it was disrespectful because you're not supposed to show Muhammad according to their beliefs, but uh, it, 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 he wasn't portrayed as a terrorist or um, as a pedophile or anything like that, so... Uh, you know, I think people pretty much just uh, ignored it, and and uh, nobody nobody threatened them at that time. No, there was no violence. There were no riots. Of, you know, of course, uh, it was completely unnoticed. And this is a fact which people also don't notice. They have no recollection of it because there was no violence. Okay, so. Uh, and Matt and Trey are pretty much um, just ordinary guys. They're not ideologues or anything like that. Uh, they're just ordinary guys, you know. They um, and and they're not experts on religion. They probably had no idea that uh, that Muslims uh, don't believe in showing Muhammad. They probably didn't have any notion of that or any concern one way or the other. They just showed it because it was comedy. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, and so Matt and Trey, after the Theo Van Gogh incident, I think they sort of got sucked into this conflict. They sort of got sucked into um, sort of a made-up conflict, to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, Theo Van Gogh, now, when he was murdered, that was a terrible thing, of course. Uh, but I don't think that we can turn around and blame every Muslim in the world because he was murdered. You can blame the person who murdered him, you know. Uh, you know, maybe some of those people did get too angry, uh, you know, and, and the violence was not, you know, not necessary, of course. But what people tend to really not notice about the Theo Van Gogh incident was that it was... Uh, an example of bigoted cartoons. It was an example of uh, racist hate speech, which was printed in a major newspaper. Uh, now, you you might not believe that. You might think I'm just you know making this up. But you know, if you look back at uh, the uh, cartoons which appeared in German newspapers at the time when the Nazis were seizing control, which depicted Jews. And then you look at the Muhammad cartoons, you're going to see a striking similarity. They are basically the same thing. They are 
uh, negative caricatures of other cultures and other people, which, um, you know, and not caricatures of individuals, but characters of entire groups of people, which uh, engender uh, scorn and disrespect and even hate. In fact, Theo Van Gogh's cartoon depicted Mohammed as a bomb. You know, that is the most uh, bigoted, outrageous type of thing to print in a, in a major newspaper. Now, and I can tell you from personal experience that, that uh, from the Muslims that I've talked to personally didn't agree that he should have been killed. They thought that was wrong, but they were very, very upset over what those cartoons represented, which was just open hate, you know. And, and nobody has any concern for that. Nobody has any concern for the hate which is directed towards Muslims. But they have so much concern over some somebody calling in a death threat to Matt and Trey, as if they've never gotten a death threat before. I mean, I you know, I could imagine that they have probably got plenty of threats over the many years they've been on in the public eye. I mean, there's crazy people out there everywhere. Of course somebody has gotten angry at them and threatened them. I mean, do you really think this is the first time they've got any negative response? <laughs> I mean, get real, people, okay? So, I mean, that's one thing. But, you know, the, the, uh, the, the fact that we, and of course... The people who are actually censoring Matt and Trey and telling them not to put on the Muhammad cartoons aren't actually Muslims themselves. It's the uh, the network. The network is is the one uh, that is constantly censoring them. I mean, Matt and Trey have been fighting censorship the whole time they've been on television, trying to get around these blocks and hurdles that the, that the network puts up on what they can say and what they can't say. And suddenly people act as if this is the first time that they've ever faced censorship. And they act as if the people who are censoring them are actually Muslims and not the studio executives. You know, I mean, the sheer ignorance of all this is just astounding. I mean, you know, and, and people, of course, they have selective vision. They only see what they want to see when it comes to Muslims. They only see the death threats. They don't see the violence and the threats that are directed towards Muslims, of course. You don't see the censorship that's directed towards Muslims. When we tell Muslims what to say, you must condemn this, you must condemn that. You must make this statement, you must make this political uh, statement, or else you're not a human being and we can kill you, right? But when do we ever condemn things? When do we condemn the terrorism of the U.S. directed towards Iraq? You know, we killed two million Iraqis. Two million. When has anybody even given a crap about that? How many, how many people even know that or even care? You know? How many people even know that we killed two million Iraqis, let alone care, let alone have, you know, denounced the United States for it? Uh, you know, when, um, when a Christian goes and murders an abortion provider, how many people made... Um, YouTube videos saying the Christians are out murdering people, you know. The Christians are out, uh, you know, telling people not to say things or not to do things. I mean, how many people have said that? When a, a Christian flew his airplane into the uh, federal building and killed a person, how many people said the Christians are terrorists, you know. But they don't, they don't do that. But they say that about Muslims when, you know, all it takes is one guy to call Matt and Trey and say, God damn it, what are you, you know, stop it, I'm going to kill you. And suddenly, the Muslims are issuing death threats. And now we've got to, you know, uh, and, and they even talk about, okay, since they're infringing on our freedom of speech, uh, because one of them is crazy, we've got to go kill every single one of them. We've got to go have ourselves another holocaust to to defend freedom of speech, but obviously not the freedom of speech of the person who issued the death threat. <laughs> that freedom of speech is, of course, not quite so important because it's the Muslims. Thanks for watching.